your head news. It's all in your fucking head. It's all in your fucking head. Submitted by Sushi Apprentice. I wanted to do that, but go on. Let's talk about the topic today. Oh, that's nice, Joe. A new study reports that simply thinking about coffee is enough to wake you up. There's so many times I go, I wish I had coffee. I wish I had, oh my God, I fall asleep. That was me yesterday. I'm not that dependent on coffee. Thank God. I just like the, t I'm addicted to the, the ritual. The like, oh. the warmth and the way it feels. Do you know what feels really good? Caffeine. If you sleep seven hours. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dude. I sleep eight hours. Yo, when, when I, it's very oh, rare yeah. and very, like if I sleep eight hours straight, it's very few and far between. But when I do, it feels like I'm on pre-workout. But have you done it before midnight? That's the shit. There's a difference. Damn, I don't, I gotta try this shit out. Yeah. You know I, what my I, favorite I, is? It, my favorite is sleeping eight hours and then around two or three, take a one hour nap. <laughs> that's a lot of sleep. <laughs> Damn, dude, that's kind of excessive. That's a, I do that, I do that. That feels but good. But I don't take a one hour nap, it's like a 20 minute nap. Or sometimes I only need 20. Yeah. Like sometimes I'll sleep and then I'm like so energized, I go, oh shit. Yeah. And I'm ready to go. Because if I sleep more than that, then I, get, then I just want to stay sleeping. Yeah. I take two hour naps. <laughs> oh my God. If I take a nap. That means you're sleep be, deprived. It will be two hours. I used to be my sleep time, you know that? Two, three hours. <gasps> Damn. Damn. That, that lasted like oh, almost three years. That shit was it terrible. It ages you. You're gonna, you're, you're like a 40 year old man now. Not anymore, I sleep like a solid like five now. Five? Fuck. That's how much Steve sleeps too, but I told you about Steve's health, so. <laughs> we know about Steve's health. Anything <laughs> with health, like Steve just doesn't check that mark at all. He doesn't do it. He gets tired from walking. Uh, he can walk, um, like we walk at a, a mile and a half around our neighborhood, like when we go oh. on our evening walks, but anything above, like if you're on the treadmill, anything above like a 4.0. <laughs> maybe maybe yeah. his, his fucking genius humor comes from him being unhealthy. <laughs> maybe, but he wasn't always like so that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know that. <laughs> yeah. Like maybe that's, we were talking about the scuba thing. I think he was able to pass the scuba thing when he was, there's a more healthy. You have to swim, you have to, like you swim, like I don't know how many, like maybe 200 meters, which is pretty long, and then you have to tread water like just like this for 15 minutes straight. He's really strong oh, though. He's it's a long time. unusually strong, like very strong. Like, like he can four. lift crazy amounts. Like he could lift, a, but without working out, he can lift like a lot, but he cannot, he has no endurance. Cardio wise, no endurance. Mm. Yeah. This is farm boy strength. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so there were these researchers at Monash University and Ooh, Monash. 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 Oh. Monash, Monash, I don't know. Uh, university at, and the University of Toronto. Ooh, and Toronto. Why? Because they made the first one. Oh, yeah, because Monash, and we're like, fuck it, let's keep it going. Yeah. Anyway, so then they reported their findings in the journal Consciousness and Cognition, and they wrote that People may be more aroused simply after walking. Aroused? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> We're not doing it anymore? <laughs> okay. I knew as soon as I was gonna say that word. It was too easy. Oh, okay. yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> the one that's actually good, we didn't say it. <laughs> aroused, we went. Okay, we slapped it, it happen in threes like that. You're really good, you're really good. We'll wake up again, let's Go get ahead. back on it. So yeah. then, think of coffee. People would be more aroused after walking by a coffee shop, and coffee not shop. only would they be more aroused, but at a more downstream level, their decision making might shift as well, is what they're claiming. Do you think it's the smell that's triggering it? Oh, I love the smell of coffee. Yeah, I think that wakes me up. Mm. So that's part of it. And then they were also saying, because they were conducting these tests and they, had, they started with participants being cued to think about either coffee or tea. So they had two groups. Tea's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'd rather drink tea than coffee any fucking day. Me too. But it I doesn't have it. the same smell like that, like aroma. But I don't have I its like, own smell. I like coffee, yeah. but the smell, but I like I like coffee with chocolate smell. And that's mm. funny because I don't like chocolate. But if I if I if that's like combined and like I a mocha, that, yes, oh. and I'm like, ooh, that's pretty good because the coffee's masked. There's yeah. definitely a different like caffeine high. I think I like the matcha high. Like the like the caffeine boost from matcha because it's more smooth and yeah. you're not jittery and stuff like That's that. Great. But the, and it's longer. But the ritual of coffee with the like you the do that smell and everything. Too. Well I've been I'm, doing it because it comes like yeah. I've been every morning I've been making the matcha with the little, from like, sip. Me too. I do it yeah. uh, twice a week. Yeah so you then like I'll do it in the little bowl and then the whisk. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll pick up the bowl. I do it in the afternoon but coffee has to be in the morning. I can't start with that. Uh -huh. You know what's up about matcha though? It does whiten your teeth. 
So instead of making it yellow, it makes it whiter. Not like coffee. And I actually tried it. I, so I do it every Tuesday and Thursday. I go like this. Why only Tuesday and Thursday? Instead of brushing your teeth, he just... Because the days that I train train, yeah. I got pre-workout. Oh. <laughs> so... <laughs> Giggles Why do you it? put your hand in your pants when you say that? Get your hand out. They're comfortable in there. <laughs> but the action in the thing doesn't really work. The giggling in the there. hand in the pants? That's what it was, yeah. Wow. <laughs> he, got, he got an A plus in science today. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? <laughs> Got a fucking oil change. <laughs> well, excuse me, sir. No more Jiffy Lube for you. So one group thought about coffee, another one didn't. The other one thought about tea. Oh. And then, so they also had this other study where they would come up with advertising slogans for coffee or tea, depending what group they were in. And then in the other studies, they read either a mocked up health news story about the benefits of drinking coffee, and then the other one was about tea. They found that for the coffee group, they had like higher levels of that stuff. Just by thinking about it. Yeah, oh, and they did mention that it, this this worked mainly for the Western countries that yeah. have coffee, coffee yeah, coffee culture. Yeah. And then when they did it with the Eastern no that do, don't have that, it didn't work. But the tea probably worked for them. They didn't mention that specifically, but they did mention about the coffee. So. Yeah, we've just been so like conditioned. To yeah. think coffee. I've just been having it every morning since I was 14 and it just- 14, oh bitch, my. what the hell? Yeah. So it feels like it's a morning is not complete without it. Yeah, I used uh, to bring it to coffee? school and I thought it was so cool. For sure, probably makes you feel like- It was older. like how other people feel when they smoke cigarettes. Oh, do you yeah. drink black coffee? I do right now. Uh, like usually it's black or it has a splash of almond milk, but right now it's black because I'm on this like special- You've been conditioned, girl, remember? The best part of waking yeah. up is Folgers, Folgers in your cup. cup. Yep. We never bought Folgers. What ha do they still have those commercials? Is Folgers still around? I don't know. I don't know. Folgers, Folgers is still, is still around. I don't know if they still have the commercials. I really do like the smell of coffee, though. Yeah. It smells it good. Smells really nice. Mm -hmm. oh, and it makes yeah. me feel like I'm at home. I can smell it right like, now. Because my we're parents about made it. it. Yeah. yeah. I like the smell of coffee beans too. I don't even eat bacon, but if I smell bacon, like it makes me feel like I'm at home too uh, because my parents used to make they it. Like bacon. Yeah. Bacon. 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 It actually tastes more <laughs> to my grandma's tattoos. house. Like, <laughs> bacon. like making breakfast for a lot of people. I can't think about it. I have to drink ingest it. it. Yeah. Well, it's not like you're going to get the full same uh, effects of you drinking it. It's just that they're, sh they're saying here that. Oh, your heart tends to beat a little faster, just a little faster. So like for example, it was the average heart rate for the coffee group was 76 beats per minute and then the tea group was 70 beats per minute. That's because that's a, they have an addiction. <laughs> I was going to say, I wonder what would happen if they thought about someone they loved or something they loved, it's the same if it would be the same effect because yes. oh, I yes. love coffee and I think that's more what makes my heart beat is that, ooh, we get to have coffee and I get excited. How cute, you get butterflies when you drink a coffee? I do. This is just visual. I'm going to tell Steve. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> Every, it's just visualization. I mean, they, they did this study with people that actually worked out, people that thought about working out, and then they spent one hour just lifting weights in their head or like playing piano and practicing piano. And then people that just imagined that, they got better. Yeah. They got healthier, their heart rate got better, all this shit too. I was also reading this study about rewards, like rewarding yourself. So people that thought about going to the gym, but then changed their mind and didn't actually go, mm. still felt like they deserved they, rewards yeah. after. And oh, that's me for sure. They would treat themselves even for just for thinking about going to the gym. That's like people that post those motivational quotes. Yeah. Like, but they you never know, actually do anything. Yeah, but they hashtag hustle. They're so inspired to yeah. be more inspired. I hate it when people do that. It's like I always see it consistently because I'm on Twitter a lot now. They're like, dude, if you want to go out there, you gotta go and get it. And it's like a ten year old kid. And I'm like, what the fuck have you done, you fucking sperm? Like you've done nothing. You were just born yesterday. Shut the fuck up. I got bullied, and now he's like, I gotta find a way to hope for more. Yeah, you heartless piece of shit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're so fast. That's really good. I could give a fuck less. But he didn't even think now twice. Because he's, he's out lying just because he got bullied. Go out there, fucking blow and smoke up with people. If David ass. was a doll with a pull string, it would just be like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And, like, and he pull it again and it's like, I'll punch you in your fucking face. That's right. I <laughs> could give a fuck less, dude. I don't give a 
Ugh, man. I like getting I older because care. you give less fucks now. That's yeah. true. You know, because like when you were in high school. Oh, I give fucks about different things, though, actually. Yeah, but you just, you kind of, you manage your fucks really yeah. well. Yeah, I, I do fuck management. Fuck management. Yeah. Good, yeah. yeah, it feels good. That's why I like dude. that book. That book. Yeah, all subtle about art that. about giving a fuck. Yeah. That was good. He has a new book coming out this month. Oh. I pre ordered it. What is it called? It's How to not even give a fuck even some more? Maybe. <laughs> even some more. That would be dope. The sequel to The Art of Not Giving a Fuck is How to Not Even. Even give a fuck some more of her yeah. fucks. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you gave fucks before? <laughs> you haven't read this one here. <laughs> I think the ultimate, I think that's Buddhism right there. It's like, that's the ultimate. Like, when you reach enlightenment, it's like, I don't even give a fuck. You know how much I don't give a fuck? I don't even give a fuck about this world. That's why Bart's mom doesn't care if she dies. When I know she does. She does, though. She she just lying to herself. She ain't a real she, she's, like the, she's like the hashtag hustle people, where I think she's preaching to herself, but she's just putting it out there. Yeah. That makes sense.